welcome to the first edition of Alumni Connect. It's my pleasure to introduce the president of the UPike Alumni Association, Mrs. Kay Hamm. Thank you, Eric. And I would like to introduce Dr. Eric Decker, which is our vice president for Benson. Uh, every month, as part of our alumni meeting, we're going to have a guest speaker come in and talk about stories of UPike, stories about what alumni have done out in the world. And so we can share the, both the meetings and these stories with all of our alumni faithful. We're so pleased. We, we, every week, we, every month, we hold our meetings now in the new College of Business. And we're so pleased to have one of our very own, Dr. Howard Roberts, who was named this last July our Dean of the Coleman College of Business, as our first speaker. This evening, he's going to give us a tour around the building, give you a little history, a little background of when he was in school. Here and now as Dean, the, the, the prospects for the different programs here in the building. It's now my pleasure to welcome our new Dean of the Coleman College of Business, Dr. Howard Roberts. Thank you. Well, thank you, Kay and Eric, for and our alumni board members for being here this evening, and we are delighted to share this building with you. This historic building is the oldest educational structure in Pike County, Kentucky. The building was built in 1889 after Presbyterian ministers came to the area to assess the needs for education and quickly learned that a school needed to be built to educate the youth of the mountains. And that's clearly what has occurred here since the late 1800s. This building was built in 1889. At that time, the river ran right behind this building and the administration, the faculty, spent time pulling mud and clay from the riverbank and forming bricks that were actually being used to build this building. It's a fascinating history. So children attended this school, and the school housed an elementary school. At that time, later added the upper grades, and on this campus, the building was a flurry of activity. This room was considered the chapel and is now the boardroom for the University of Pikeville. The room is now known as the Sturgill Boardroom and is named for William B. Sturgill and his generosity in donating the furnishings to this building. As you see around the room, all the former presidents of this institution are pictured here. The, the first president, who was actually the principal at that time, is Reverend Dr. David Blythe, whose picture is in the back of the building. And Dr. Blythe was so devoted to the mission of this institution and to helping establish this institution. He donated $1,000 to the building fund for this building, and that was more than his annual salary. He worked very hard at the task of being the, the president, but also the physical labor he actually helped construct the building. And in doing so, he really sacrificed his health. So Dr. Blythe was here in the very early years of the institution, but left because of health reasons in his early 30s. And he visited Pikeville after that a few times throughout his life, and he loved this institution. We are honored at what he did and what he sacrificed for this institution, and we still respect very much the work of Dr. Founded. Dr. Blythe was inducted this year into the University of Plaquel Educators Hall of Fame, and his plaque hangs in this building showing him as an inductee of the, the Educators Hall of Fame. Well, now we are in a classroom at the Coleman College of Business. Again, we're in the Academy Building, the first building of what is now the University of Plaquel. This building was built what is now the University of Plaquel, and we affectionately say you, Pike. This institution was Pike Collegiate Institute. This was one of the original classrooms. If you'll notice in the, in the room, you still see the chalk rails and what was the top of the chalkboard. You see that all around the wall in this room. So a lot of history still remains, although the boards are gone. The, the chalk rail and the top of the board always remains. But this room is referred to now as the collaboration classroom. The tables are designed so that students, both undergraduate and graduate students, use this room, collaborate. Students 
widely used technology. We use technology in, in our instruction here. So when a student comes to class, they may have their laptop or their tablet with them, and they can merely plug in to the technology that is on each table in this room, and the students can collaborate and discuss the project they're working on. They can then project that to this monitor. They can continue to discuss it so students across the table from each other can see and listen to the same information. The professor can also take that information from the student's equipment or from the screen and project it to this screen in the front of the room. So this is truly a historic building with state-of-the-art technology. The University of Pikeville and Coleman College of Business has developed this room to be widely used for a number of uses. So our undergraduate classes in business meet here as well as our master's degree in graduate in this classroom. And the technology enables more effective teaching, but it also encourages experiential learning and collaborative education. So this historic building is used daily. This classroom is used pretty much every hour of the day, from 8 in the morning to 5 at night, and three nights a week we conduct classes in this classroom. Now we are in a second classroom at the Coleman College of Business on the campus of the University of Plyco. Again, we are touring the historic academy building, the oldest educational facility in Pike County, Kentucky. This classroom, again, is in the original portion of the building, which was built in 1889. The elementary classes were taught in this classroom. Later, as the, the institution expanded and then ultimately became Pikeville Junior College, this building was used as a training school, and therefore the education majors at the college taught here, there were faculty here teaching elementary grades, and this became known as the training school. It was a private school and used for many years to train teachers as well as to educate the area youth. In 1955, the University of Pikeville was granted college status at that time and changed from Pikeville Junior College to Pikeville College. In 1957, the first graduates with baccalaureate degrees graduated from the institution. And it was at that time that the institution decided to close the training school. So the training school was closed at that time in the late 1950s, and the building became used as more of an artisan center. They taught pottery classes here, art, and music. There was a potter's wheel, there was a loom to teach weaving. So those courses were taught at that period of time in this building. And there was a period of time that the building was leased to the Pikeville Independent School System. And Pikeville City Schools used this as a middle school. They taught fifth and sixth grade in this building. Fifth grade on the second floor and the sixth grade on the first floor. And the room across the hall, the Sturgeon Ward Room, which was the auditorium or the chapel, was used as two classrooms. It was divided by a curtain. So there were four fifth grade classes on this floor and sixth grade downstairs with four classes there as well. Today, this room is used as a classroom for the College of Business. We have complete technology in this room as well. The room is designed so that students can collaborate and work on projects. It's a room that's very easy to use as a lecture hall as well because the students sit in small groups, they work together, they work and, and discuss projects and notes as they are taking notes throughout the lecture. So it's a very easy room to use to, to teach in. With the whiteboard, with the technology here, students are given opportunities to learn latest in business, and again, this room is used for both undergraduate and graduate courses in business. We're now in another former classroom, the original part of the academy building at the University of Pikeville. This room today is used as the business center for the college, Colton College of Business. The students have an opportunity to come to this room to work on projects so they can study. There are four computers here, they can use to work on uh, 
any of their assignments or writing papers, doing research. We have financial and business news being broadcast here throughout the day, and they can keep abreast with financial news and breaking news, anything that's going on in the world of business. This room is widely used as a place also where students and faculty can meet and relax, have discussions, can discuss assignments or projects, but also just discuss business issues. So the room is very adaptable for a variety of uses, but the students have really enjoyed using this space because it does give them a place to relax between classes or to work on projects throughout the day. Again, this is part of the original building, built in 1889, and this part of the building was uh, more for the upper grades and then later used for the sixth grade the city school system was operating from this location. Out back, right behind this room, was a small playground when the school was originally constructed. And today, of course, that provides parking for faculty, staff, and students at this facility. 